Hello everyone, welcome to today's talk. It is the 10th of November 2022 and I'm going to give a brief update on the COVID-19 situation in Africa and I'm also going to talk about the current outbreak of Ebola in Uganda. So when it comes to COVID-19, as per today, Africa has reported about 12.3 uh, million cases of COVID-19 cumulatively uh, that is since the pandemic started in the whole of African continent and uh, we have reported over 11 million recoveries uh, so that is a very good uh, recovery rate and we've lost about 257,000 people to COVID-19 since it started. Uh, when you compare this number, it is slightly lower to the numbers that we've lost due to uh, malaria in the past years. Uh, when you look in 2019, we lost about 409,000 uh, people to malaria. So you can see that the other illnesses have a high death rate compared to COVID-19 and the recovery to COVID-19 has really been good. Uh, so Africa, uh, that is where we are standing. Uh, when it comes to East Africa in particular, uh, Uganda, they stopped some time ago in reporting. So I've not yet uh, gotten the information, uh, but Kenya is still reporting. And Tanzania, uh, they stopped uh, before even the Delta variant uh, came in. That is because uh, the president uh, gave a directive who was alive by then, that was President Magufuli. Uh, they stopped the testing and uh, for them, if you remember very well, they never had a lockdown. There is a health worker friend of mine uh, that I'm going to host on this channel from Tanzania and he will be able to tell us the situation there uh, because they never had a lockdown uh, but the information was not published. So this guy will paint for us a general picture of the real situation in Tanzania. Uh, but uh, when it comes to vaccines, uh, the campaigns for vaccinations are still ongoing to encourage all people to get vaccinated, including children. Uh, our views we've been stating them in the previous videos, but you know they don't matter a lot. We have to go by what the authorities suggest but we have also other opinions uh, but the campaigns are ongoing and the information that is being spread is that vaccines are safe and effective uh, that is the general information that uh, is being given however uh, there is no any information that is being given on the possible side effects I don't say that vaccines have side effects that are dangerous to people uh, but just like any other drug a vaccine is also a drug and a proper health worker you need to tell a person uh, when he's going to take the drug let me say like paracetamol you need to tell a person that this is what you need to eat and these are the side effects that you need to expect so uh, as health workers that is our work uh, but if you don't do that, uh, you will be acting more of a drug dealer than a health worker. So I encourage all the health authorities to spread that information as well. It is important to talk about uh, the possible side effects of vaccines, uh, the benefits and all other things. Let's not only share uh, one side of the story and now when it comes to Ebola virus disease the information that I have as per day is for 60th of November and on that day we had reported the uh, three new cases of Ebola virus disease and uh, we had also reported uh, a cumulative number of 135 cases of Ebola virus and around 18 people uh, were on bed or they, they were active admissions. And then uh, we also had about uh, 62 
recoveries from Ebola virus. Are the people who have been contacts of the infected people or probable cases are 1,815. So these are contacts of the people who have been confirmed or people who are suspected or probable cases. Uh, the cumulative deaths to Ebola virus are 53 as per 6th of November and as per 6th of November there was no uh, new death reported. As I talk, uh, Ebola virus has spread to about eight districts in Uganda, including uh, the capital city of Uganda. It has not yet reached my area, and we are continuing with the sensitization program, teaching people about how they can prevent themselves from getting this disease in case uh, it happens to come to our region also. As I talk, uh, the Minister of Education, Uganda, has uh, reduced uh, the period of stay or the length of stay at school. I think uh, students will be going home starting from 25th of November. So they are trying to close early such that they can prevent continuous spread of this virus because uh, we've lost some students and pupils in other areas where the outbreak uh, started from. So uh, that is all for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.